What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. This episode, we have finally solved the RV Da Vinci code of the black tank and the gray tank. So we feel after all the products that we used, all the testing we've done, all the information we've seen on YouTube, we finally found the product that works the best for us in our Grand Design RV. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was super, super skeptical at first. A lot of products make a lot of claims. Everybody on the forums have their own magic formula, their own mixtures, especially the one with Calgon, take me away. That does it! Calgon, take me away! Lose your cares in the luxury of a Calgon bath. I believe we have found the system, the product, the liquid that is going to solve your black tank, gray tank issues. So stay tuned. We're going to show you what we're excited about. Here we go. comfortable here because this is going to be a second. Should I go get the recliner? If you want to bring the <laughs> recliner over here, you're more than welcome. You can bring the stool, but it would be like your head would be here. Be like, I got it. All right. So quick backstory on how we found this product or how the product found us. Found us. Yeah. So pretty much a year ago, we were in Sarasota and we got an Instagram message from a guy named Jason. And we, he was like, hey, I see you guys are in the area. We have a black tank and gray tank enzyme treatment. We'd love for you to try out and we'd love to give you a sample. We get a lot of these messages on Instagram. So I kind of brushed it off a little bit, but then I was like, okay, he's serious. And he's like, well, I told him, you know, we were working we were only there for a short amount of time and we can really do we weren't really trying to brush them off it's just at the time we really never had like because they're right before COVID hit too so it was yep. kind of that jumble of us leaving and yep getting hit in the road and getting out of dodge we weren't trying to brush it off because i know jason you'll be watching this uh <laughs> but like busy work our focus was really our business pre-covid because we were just doing that 24 7. so um, and then we told him, we're like, look, we want to get with you. We want to try this out. And, but we're like super slam busy and he goes, no problem. And then we'll work something out. And then it just kind of just faded off. We got to work and then COVID hit and all that other good stuff. So fast forward to about a month ago, no, two months, two months December. ago. Yeah. December. We're back in Sarasota and he messages us back. Come see us. Come talk to it. I want to give you guys a bottle. Let's talk. And we're like, okay let's do this we're here now everything's kind of mellowed out so we meet up with jason and jason has works with a company the parent company is called keltec they are a chemical company they make i don't know the chemicals they make like enzyme chemicals and ponds. ponds with algae cleaner we met with jason we got a bite to eat at oh my god what is that place called oh fresh kitchen something, like, something like that if you ever in sarasota bradington at the utc mall it's called fresh kitchen oh my god it's good it's healthy it's organic it you know anyways that's how excited we are about the food there because it was so good he says look i want to give you our product it's called camp champ and it is a natural digestive enzyme tank cleaner and treatment and i was like okay so he pulled the straight up, what are your problems with the black tank? You know, I was like, I need it to not smell. I need it to dissolve. In a kind of a forewarning, we may say some terms and pictures may pop up into your head, but we're all our veers here and we know to talk about poop and the black tank. So just be forewarned. So I said, basically, I want everything to break down as much as possible, but with the least amount of smell. And he says, no problem. And I was like, okay. So he says, here, here's your bottles. I want to tr try this out. Give me your honest review. I said, dude, if this sucks, I'm really going to tell you it sucks. But thank you for lunch. And we're not going to do this. I'm not going to show you the results, if you know what I mean. Because I can't really go, hey, check out what happened. <laughs> you know, I, can't, I don't know how to word this. But let's just say things worked very well. And things went from solid to liquid very very well 
and there was no smell. Okay, so first we're going to talk about things that we've used, what we kind of liked prior to using Camp Champ. So we don't have all the old bottles no, of what we no. use because we've actually tossed them. We happen to have these because this, this is, is what's left over. But this is what we were using like before Jason got touched with Plus, we were also reusing the unique unique uh, digestive RV digest because with that we had to use only this would work in our black, and then the RV digest was only for the gray. So um, I don't have that bottle anymore, but this yeah. is what we have left. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with this, this is the thick blue stuff that they use in Outhouse or the Porta Johns. Yeah. Um, uh, the thing it, that always got me when we use this, and it out of everything before we came up with Camp Champ, this would be like kind of there but we came across an issue with the smell after yes. a little while but now we know why it smells and we're going to tell you why it smelled even though this stuff is super super potent and next time you go into a porta john you're like god it still smells and there's like gallons and gallons of this stuff in there why does it smell we now know why it smells and it stops working but one of the things i didn't like about this bottle every time i bought it was this big danger poison it made me really wonder what is in this bottle that we're putting in our tanks to Kill. do stuff <laughs> so that always got me but we as an RVer we have to put stuff in our tank and and we figured it would be chemical yeah. um we did come across this power blue for a while and it, it was okay for a while again but it had an odor again and I think now we know why the odor always yep. came back the odor control in this stuff wasn't that great and we kept having to add more into it to control the odor. Throughout the week. Because it would yeah. work for like a day or two. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And then a couple of days in, I go so walk in the bathroom. And I'm like, it don't smell fresh. No, yeah, it don't smell and so I fresh. I just here. keep adding more and more of the treatment stuff to try to cover the odor. And this stuff doesn't have a masking smell. It doesn't have any perfume and fragrance. It just smells straight up like chemical. Yeah. So we were like, okay, that's just what we're going to deal with. And the chemical smell would go away after a few days and then we're like okay it's working and then the poop smell came back and we we're like we don't want that smell no. or the black tank and when so. we very first started wow well, we got with our rv the, the tst the, the, the little orange pods pods the ones that you're not supposed to eat but those came with our first rv so that's the first thing we tried and that, that didn't, definitely didn't, that didn't last long at all and then um happy camper the powder. we tried it i wasn't we had another powder stuff and the powder stuff if, you know, if you're moving around and you open your door into there and the powder stuff falls, you got powder everywhere. Or if you get humidity in there, it clumps. And that's kind of a problem we saw with the powder mm -hmm. is the clumping issue with it. And then you had to put more in there. So we weren't a fan of the powders. So that's kind of a wrap up of the chemicals that we've used. You know, we've actually done a cleaning process when we dry, put down dish soap mm -hmm. down there. And we the dry ice. And the ice, the Calgon, the... Is that the Caldon, the and, like the mixture? We did yeah, and then what's the power? Uh, the the donkeys, the four horses, the four donkeys, borax, oh, okay. <laughs> the four the four horsemen. Well, you know, it's called borax for whatever. I think I know. Yeah, about. I don't know. So we tried all of that in the tank when we drive to slosh it around and this, that, and the other. What we found out, you put a few gallons down there, it sloshes around. It's good, but it doesn't get the walls because you got to remember if you're in a tank. And it starts filling up the walls are getting coated with slime and stuff so if you think about your shower you have all your body oils your soap and everything that's getting stuck and creating um like a film, like a film. and then think about your gray tank for your sink if you have two separate tanks you're now dealing with your dawn dish soap you're dealing with oils from the food, grease, if you know, you don't want to put grease down there on purpose, but there's always some in there. And then food. And one thing that we didn't think of that you all might know about is we're in Florida, but there's its own temperature down there. The more you fill up the tank, it gets its own temperature, especially in the black tank because it's composting itself. So the temperature starts rising in that tank. Think about it if you're in an 80 degree area outside, then inside your tank is getting hotter and it can easily get over a hundred degrees that's how we found these things stop working or any chemical with formaldehyde this aquachem stuff right here has formaldehyde in it like i said before whenever you go into a porta john if you're at an event or a concert and you're like god it still stinks because it's hot outside it's hot inside the storage area and the formaldehyde just stops working when it starts getting up to 100 degrees. And you're like, oh, 100 degrees, it's not that hot. 
to you it's not, but when it's in its own little eco poo system, mm -hmm. it can get up to 100 degrees very quickly and the formaldehyde just stops working and now all you have is a chemical smell of whatever the chemical agent is and it basically stops working. So that's why we were adding extra stuff in there to add extra formaldehyde in there and then it would stop working and then so that's kind of where we're at and what our experiences are. And where do we go from here? Well, let's tell them what product we're using. Oh yeah, so if you haven't figured out now, here's what we're using. Uh, grab that one. So we are using a product called Camp Champ and it is made by a parent company called Caltech, like we said, which is a chemical company. We liked it because A, it was a small family owned company. So Denise, the owner, she's a, vet, a military veteran and she owns the company and she runs it. It's awesome. And there's families in there running the company and doing everything. It's great. Well, kind of long story short, too late type thing. We got a bottle of this and this. Oh, so yeah, let's, explain. let's explain why there's two bottles. Sorry, we're, we're excited about to ex finally explain this to you guys because we've been testing it for so long to make sure it worked and that we actually wanted to let you guys know about it. This is gonna be more of a talking video, obviously, because there's definitely not a show and tell part to this video. We're gonna try to keep it brief and very helpful for everyone. And the reason why we're not gonna do just a, hey, this stuff works, is because the reason why this stuff works is totally different than any other product. And believe me, I had to, talk with Jason multiple times because he knows the technical terms and the chemical terms and I'm just like Pow. can I just get the simple version and Renee and I have kind of come and found out yeah there's basically little micro Pac-Man that eat things or eat the things that are inside whether it be the food from the gray tank or the um the deposit you make in the black tank so it basically eats those and then they multiply like crazy so I'm going to explain quickly, but kind of thoroughly why there's two bottles. So the first bottle we're going to talk about is RV Super Digest. Before you go order any of these, I'm going to be putting the website down below. Stay tuned because I'm going to give you a promo code that will help you guys out if you want to try this. So don't just go rush and order it, but you can go to Kel or um, campchamprv.com and kind of take a look at the product. RV Super Digest. This is a pre-treatment or a kind of like for us as full timers, this is a once a quarter, once every, what do you think Renee? Once every two months or three months? Two to three months. We, two to three months that we use this. Now, what do we do with this? This product here has nine aggressive digestive enzyme strain one ounce of this treatment contains over 31 billion, billion with a B microbes that break down solids and clean your the walls. So if your sensors are on your walls, it's going to help clean those. Is it going to make them work if they don't work? No. Y'all know the sensors are never right. But it's kind of weird when you get this and if you let it set, there's actually stuff on the bottom and I can see the stuff on the bottom. That's actually food for the microbes that are in here in their sleepy state. But once you get them out of here and you fill up this little chamber and then you dump it in the water, they wake up and they get breeding and they get eating. So the food source is now whatever you're putting down in the sink. It's awesome. And I've been told since Renee and I have protein shakes in the morning, apparently the microbes love the extra protein, so we're trying to feed them all the protein stuff. What we did with this is when we first got it, we emptied our tanks. Um, the black tank, I flushed out the black tank a couple times, did a good flush. Basically, we filled our gray and black tanks about three-quarter full of water, dumped an ounce into each of our tanks, and then basically used it until it got full, which was pretty quickly because it's three quarters of a tank full. But what that happened was it put so much fresh water in there that these enzymes just got crazy and got breeding and they were looking for food sources. So when you have just water in there, they're basically scrounging for the food sources, whether it be on the walls, 
what's left over film on the bottom and whatever didn't get drained out. So think about your black tank. You know you, that black tank is not clean every time you dump and you do a multi-flush. So it is eating whatever's left on the bottom, on the walls, everything. It's just going to town. So what you do is when it gets full, then you do a flush. And let me tell you, it was pretty impressive on how clean things got when I pulled the tank, especially the black tank. I was super blown away on how clean things got with just the first treatment of the RV Digest. Now the crazy thing was it didn't even smell. Like this stuff doesn't have a smell in general, but all the extra stuff that came out didn't even have a smell. It's crazy. And I was like, well, you know, I filled the thing up with three quarters full of water. It better not smell. <laughs> I thought that. So after using the pre-treatment of RB Digest, we went to, this is the Odor Abade. This is what you normally use every time you flush your tank, whether it be like every week, every weekend, etc. This is like your, your everyday type use. If you're a full timer, obviously you're gonna use this probably once every two weeks when you dump your gray, or I'm sorry, your black, and then however often you dump your gray tanks, whether it be um, your sink gray tank or your uh, shower gray tank. Now, if you do leave your tanks open, don't put it in there. Close your tanks. Put the stuff in there, let it set, let it clean itself out. Something about this that really got me was there's no smell to this. Like there's not even a chemical smell to this. It is just blue stuff. And it's crazy. It actually, um, I'm going to read here kind of what it says. It converts odorous gases into microscopic particles. It balances the pH, allowing the natural, naturally occurring microbes to decompose the waste without causing odor. Break that down how you will, but all we know is this stuff doesn't smell fruity, citrusy, or chemically. And when I go to pull the tank, it does not smell. There is no odor, if you know what I mean. This gets rid of all the smells. It also breaks down all the solids. I'm going to say this. Today is Monday for us. If I were to dump tomorrow, I can guarantee you everything's going to be broken down except for what I put in there today and tomorrow morning, if you know what I mean. If you make your morning deposit and you dump that morning, that morning deposit's not going to be broken down. <laughs> Sorry for the simplicity and crudeness of it, but you, you know the subject matter. We like this because it's also very easy. There's other products that we've had that has the fill chamber. You basically fill this up, it's one ounce, and blam. That's what we dump in the gray, both our gray tanks and our black tank, and it is good to go. There's nothing else you need to do, guys. And that's why we like the way this stuff works. It is insane. I guess trust me we had our doubts we were like there's no way we've tried thin blue stuff uh, again the power blue that we had before was very thin very watery it was supposed to naturally digest but when we see this work and then we learn the chemical breakdown of how why it worked it was just night and day so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this off to Renee and she doesn't deal with the outside stuff like I do but she's gonna talk to you on what she noticed about the inside and kind of the effects of how it worked on the inside that she's noticed. Scott kind of already mentioned a few of the things that I like about it and one is that there is no free odor so there's no smell when I'm putting it in our tanks and then I like the fact that we can just pump it and it's not um, a clump or like the other stuff we were using that comes in a big jug. I had like a little measuring cup and I was like having to measure and then wash the measuring cup and I just like how this is just all like self-contained. I just do a few pumps and then I dump it in and put the cap on and I'm ready to go. So that's just one of the things I like about it. And then I like the fact that it works. I mean, there's no odor. When, um, when I'm cleaning the toilet bowl, kind of, you know, again, this isn't the easiest topic to talk about, but when I'm cleaning the inside of the toilet bowl, every time I'd open that flapper before with other chemicals, I kind of always dreaded opening because I know there would be a smell, even though I'm doing that quick flush of the water. And with this, I don't feel that I'm cleaning the bowl. I can open the flapper. I don't feel like I'm getting any smell coming up. And that's just is nice to be able to clean the bowl real quick and not have a smell and then just not to have a smell in the bathroom when you go in the bathroom i don't notice a smell and then 
always happen and, and I'm not dumping more chemical in to cover the smell because there is no smell <laughs> like we mentioned in the other products uh, there's no clumping because it's not a powder we kind of mentioned before we're not really big fan of powder and again we kind of just like how easy it is there's no clumping there's no powder it's just easy to squeeze and dump it in so some of the other things I like about the product is it's natural. I mean, when I look at this bottle, I don't see that poison danger warning anywhere on it. So it's like, to me, that's kind of important. I don't like chemical stuff. <laughs> so I like something with the right on the big front doesn't have danger or poison written on it. But I'm sure, you, obviously, you don't go and drink it. But you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't have a big warning on the bottle. And, I, and I'm assuming part of that warning is due to the formaldehyde which this doesn't have. And again, I like the fact it doesn't have the formaldehyde in it. And it's just enzymes and they're just, as Scott said, little Pac-Men down there just doing their thing. So that's kind of just a, um, what I like about it. I know it's kind of a simple thing, but it's just, again, the biggest thing is just no odor. I mean, there's no smell coming from it when we use these products. And that's wrapping it up, guys. And we really want to stress Try this out for yourself. You know how your system works. You know what it is. So with this, we are partnered with Camp Champ and we have a free shipping code for you. So if you go onto the website, campchamprv.com and you order from there, enter the code up for the shipping. See how it is? It's kind of like our name. It's up for the shipping. So when you go to check out, there's gonna say coupon code, just type in up for the shipping and it'll take off that shipping and it'll just be the price of the bottle and it will get sent to you to try it out. And also follow us on Instagram because we are gonna be doing a giveaway for a prize package of Camp Chant stuff for our followers and our viewers here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe here on YouTube Obviously, give us a thumbs up on this one. I know it's one of our longer videos, but this is something really in-depth that we wanted to talk about. If you have any questions on this product, anything, if it's technical, I will get a hold of Jason and try to answer it for you. Usually, Jason uh, will be on, follows us, so he'll probably jump in and answer it if he sees the comment. But please leave all the questions you want down in the comments below, whether it be on, he on here on YouTube or over on our Instagram page. We'll definitely get all your questions and concerns answered for you. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Make sure you hit that like button. It definitely makes, it lets us know that y'all are watching our video. All right? So we appreciate that. So hit that subscribe button because the next video is going to be pretty funny. It's not going to be a long one, but it's going to be pretty funny. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the road.